welcome to another video walk on the wild so that i am not in blackpool in this video i am in the market town of polton lift wild which is just five minutes outside blackpool towards the northeast yeah it's been here for about 900 years yes i'm just outside the library here on like the main sort of drag that goes around the town center i have done a video here before last year so i thought i'd do another video very very swanky here in polton very leafy I thought we'd take a little look around the town centre, shall we? Well, I did say that Polton is very leafy and there's plenty of trees around here in Polton, more than there is in Blackpool. So we're on this, like, ring road at the moment. That road there, by the way, is called Blackpool, Blackpool Old Road, and that takes you to Blackpool. What a surprise. Just in there is a telephone exchange. You know, these telephone exchanges are a bit mysterious to me. I always think that they look a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit sort of derelict, you know, and but there's always stuff going on in there, and yet they're a little bit mysterious. You never really know what's going on. They don't really use them anymore, do they? Not for what they used to be anyway. Anyway, so I thought I'd take a little look around the town centre. We'll start here at the library. This is a library. Yeah, very swanky Bolton, you know. Oh, I. Yeah. It's a bit like Lytham Centre. It's a bit like Lytham, I'd say. Yeah, it's like Lytham to the north. Yeah. So we've got a booze here, look. Yeah. So you how swanky it is when we've got a booze store. Very, very classy. These booze have been going a long time. You only really get them in the north of England. So if you're down south, you're probably not that aware of booze supermarkets. So. <coughs> I'm going to take a walk around. I'm going to head this way. We're going to go through sort of the car park, the back end of the, the sort of shopping centre. Yeah, so we're just. I'm going to head this way around. Try to do it a little bit different to last time because last time I kind of walked around some of the some of the streets, and I think in this video we'll just concentrate mainly on the centre I think I think up here is the post office yeah so we're just coming up now to the post office there's the post office there don't come here on pension day uh, if you want to get served quick but uh, this is the this is the mall folks this is it this is the shopping mall this is where they all come to yeah the Teen Lowe Centre. It's hardly, um, it's hardly the Arndale Centre or the Trafford Centre. It's basically just one big, um, just one big um, arcade. You know, it just goes straight through to the other side, and that's pretty much it, really. I might have a look in there later. We'll see. But there's like a bit of a market area here where they have a market out here. It's not a nice day today. It's got people outside outside yeah so let's have a little look over this shall we of a uh, fruit and veg place there Strong's charity shop here Costa Coffee we've got this car park here which is free by the way it's a free car park but I'll tell you something it can be manic in this car park I mean it's a Friday afternoon as I'm filming this and I tell you what there can be a bit of road rage in here. I'm telling you now, this car park, it might be free, but yeah, at the expense of a bit of road rage, it can get quite busy and a little bit heated. But yeah, Paul, oh, hello. Now then, hello. Oh, don't tell me it's kicking off in Polton. I just want to mention something up here, folks. There's a, there's a pie shop up here. Look, it's called Pie in the Sky, the pork shop. I got a sausage sandwich from there, and it was absolutely amazing. It wasn't cheap, but it was really nice. So shout out to the Pie in the Sky, the pork shop there. Check them out if you come into Polton. So there are some quite old buildings in Polton. The oldest one was going to probably be the church, Tent Shads. 
not as old as the original building which will have been built in around about 1100 the parish of Polton it's mentioned in the doomsday book as well of course this road here is called Tide Barn Street uh, if, you, if you head down that way it takes you into takes you towards Thornton Thornton Cleveland swanky little sort of restaurant over there called Nouveau Hello, jewelers here. Look, got a betting shop there. Look, William Hill, say Bol Bolton. Got the betting shops as well. No one can escape the betting shops. Just here, we've got a Domino's. I will tell you, there's no McDonald's in Bolton, or anywhere near Bolton, for that matter. But there's a there's a nice pub there, the Golden Ball. There you go, the Golden Ball pub. And just over here we've got some buses, we've got Blackpool Transport and we've also got Stagecoach, which are from Preston. And this is like the proper market square down this way. We'll head this way. We've got a flower bed here. So. It's a little bit tatty actually, come on Poulton, what's up? Get some bedding plants in there. A bit better than Blackpool I'd say. Hopefully we don't find any big pots full of concrete here in Poulton. So anyway, let's head down here shall we? Just going past the church, I'll have a little look in there in a minute. I just want to show you down here first. Got another pub here, look. Oh look. You know, I didn't realise that uh, that's that that's the actual front of the the pork shop. That that bit where I was before was round the back. It's like a little serving hatch around the back, and that there is like the front. And look at it there. Oh, tell you what, it was good. <laughs> I had to break away there for a sec because a friend of mine who's a bus driver ran past. He was late to get on his bus. Anyway, that's the old town hall there. Look at that. I wonder how old that is. So that will have been, I take it, I don't know much about the history of Bolton, but I'm expecting that this would have been the town hall at one time. Yeah. So here's a look back that way, where I came down. And as you can see, it's quite a nice day. Got quite a few people sitting out. This is actually the market square here now, where we are and uh, just going past the front end of the the teen low centre just over there that's the the other entrance we've got an old bank here what used to be an old bank got art deco uh, front, front door on it there the 1930s and just over here that used to be the old police station you see this this building here that was the old police station I did show that on the last video. I'm going to come down here and turn around the other way. But the old police station is also right next to, would you believe it, the Masonic building. Now, what a coincidence. Masonic buildings right next to the... It says up there, 1256. Wow. Really? 1256. But I tell you what, Poulton surely does have some history. I mean, look at these. Look, look at what we've got here. We've got the uh, tribute to the Queen Victoria there, 1887. Look at these old posts here. Look at that there. Look at that. They've even got, up here, they've got stocks. Now, they're probably not original, these ones, but it just goes to show you that this is what they used to do. This is what they used to have here in Poulton. I'll try and show you over the road. I'm just heading over the road. And there's another pub here, it's called The Bull. And that's right next to a, a coffee. Is it a coffee place called The Stocks and Shillings? So I just want to give you a look down there, where I just was. That's the main part of Polton, the Market Square. It's all there. So now I'm going to head... I'll tell you what I'll do, let's head this way. Let's try and mix it up a little bit. So. I will head back that way in a minute. I just want to show you some stuff over here. So this is like the... I'm not sure if it's a one-way system, but it's some of it is. 
down there we've got a Chinese restaurant called China Red that's been here a long time China Red got another um, restaurant there Espanol is that, is that two restaurants? Agora and Espanol I just want to show you something down here the Weatherspoons is down this way I've got to show you the Weatherspoons haven't I? I just thought I'd quickly show you this. This is like the main road coming into Polton from Garstang Road, which leads out of Blackpool. And just over the road here, we've got the Weatherspoons. It's called the Polton Elk. There you go, everywhere has to have a Weatherspoons, doesn't it? And this is where the one-way system starts, right here. Look, all the cars and buses all go down that way there. Wheat Sheep Way, it's called, around Polton. Got some old buildings here, look at those there, look. Look at that one there. Wow, pretty old, isn't it? I'm going to head back up this way now. Well, I tell you what, it's pretty busy in Polton. The traffic going around this one way system. A bit manic. But we're back at the square again. I'm just going to nip over when I can get across. I think I'll use the crossing. This is Blackpool Old Road, by the way. That's what this road's called. So I'll nip over here and uh, yeah you've got some quite nice planters here and they, there's a little look at that uh, cobbles as well well they're not cobbles they're sets aren't they yeah little place here where you can sit outside here look trees as well are you watching Blackpool Council just over here we've got some like Matt Tudor and Royal Estate Agents so how much are prices? Let's have a little look, shall we? 400,000, 1.2 million, the avenue. Look at that, half a million. 1.2 million again. Yep, yeah, they're not cheap. The prices, the house prices in Poulton. We're not talking cheap, folks. It's a well sought after location so i'll tell you what i'm going to do now in the last video i went up that little alleyway there look chapel street court shops but i won't walk there in this video we'll go straight into the church shall we this the church here goes back 900 years the parish st chad's lots of people get married here and just look at the uh, the paving look look at this york stone look hey proper york stone Look at the gardens as well. They've got some really old graves in here as well. Like I said, it's mentioned in the Doomsday Book. St. Chad's. They've got quite a few of these graves here. Uh, what does that? I'm reading it the wrong way around. <laughs> There you go. In memory of Catherine Lutus. Yeah, you must have they must have been pretty rich to have these stones laid. There's another one over here, that one was evil. That was really old this one. Going right back to the early 1800s on there. Anyway, let's take a quick look inside, shall we? Okay, so this is St. Chad's Church here in Poulton. Of this so it was 1094 when the first church was established here in Polton and I've just been reading about the Hesketh family who were uh, Peter Hesketh was the guy that pretty much built Fleetwood just up the road yeah a lot of his family are buried here I'm not sure about him but yeah, the guy that built Fleetwood, his family, a lot of them are buried in here. Yeah, must have had loads of money. Big landowners. Anyway, we'll have a walk around, shall we? We're walking over these uh, sort of, uh, what do you call them? Plinths, whatever. Great stuff. They're ancient. I mean, some of them, have the, the, the earliest one I've seen goes right back to about 1788. So we're getting a look at the... Uh, other part of the town there there's a pub over there and 
some more here. Got these like a uh, tomb things here, whatever you call them. <laughs> oh, one thing about this place is they have a lot of crocus in the spring. Yeah, it's a really good place to come and see the crocus because these lawns are absolutely full of crocus in the spring. So that's worth coming up or early spring, should I say. So we'll just have a look at the other side of the church here. The, uh, I can't remember what you call this now. What do you call this part of the church? The bit that caves around, there's a name for it, isn't there? Is it the asp? That's the asp, isn't it, I think? Am I right? There's a door there that leading in there. There's another door that leads in this way, look. Now, you know what? I think that might have got some inscription on there. I think that's a Hesketh inscription. It's partly worn out, but I think that that mentions Fleetwood up there and it mentions 1699. So there you go. I think that's where the, the family are mentioned right there. And the church will have been sort of extended and built on. I don't know when the, the actual date of this church was, but it'll have had add-ons and stuff like that. So that's the way they work, isn't it? We'll have a look down here, shall we? We've got another pub on the cor on the corner here. This is called the... Is it the Thatched House? Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, that's the Thatched House. Well, we're not short of pubs here in Poulton, are we? And they're all fairly close together as well. You know, within a decent walking distance. So if you want to go on a pub crawl here in Poulton, you're not too bad. There's another estate agent over there, Butson and Blofeld. We've got another swanky, like, it's like a swanky wine bar, is it? This one here, Cube. This is now Breck Road that we're on now. Breck Road. And we've got a takeaway, a look, kebab pizza. They tried to keep these out of Poulton, you know, but they, uh, they couldn't. They tried to keep, you know, the, uh, the, the takeaways out. Just going past Finko's, like a Mexican kind of restaurant. Oh, look, we've got a Marvin's. They're everywhere, Marvin's, aren't they? Look, Marvin's in Blackpool. Marvin's in, was it Linham? And look, just over here, I just want to show you something. So we've got another takeaway there. They did try to keep these out. And squeezed in between those is quite a swanky one called Bocca. It's a rather unfortunate incident that happened out there uh, a few months ago very unfortunate not the sort of thing you expect to happen in Poulton so we're heading now towards the uh, to the station I'm gonna put a link in the description to the incident that happened outside that uh, that bar there so just over there is the station which I went to in the last video I went into the station I won't I won't bother showing it in this video, so I'll, I'll ask you to check on the last video. Okay, so I just want to show you something. I can't remember if I did it in the last video. So we've got the station there, and I just want to show you the tracks down here. Now, these are the tracks that lead towards Blackpool. Can you see here? In and out of Blackpool. But you see, can you see over there? There's a track that goes off to the right. I'm pretty sure that that was the original railway line that went to Fleetwood. And it went to Fleetwood five years before they got the railway line in Blackpool. So there you go, the original railway line that used to go all the way to Fleetwood is now sort of, well, it's not been in use for, for years. But uh, there you go, that's what used to go to Fleetwood there. How about that, eh? Amazing. I've just noticed this place here called FY6. That's what it's all about, folks. It's all about the postcode. FY6, yes all about the postcode here in Poulton we're a long way from FY1 put it that way okay I've just nipped back this way now I'm at the busy crossroads again looking down Ball Street there into the centre past the church we've got the thatched house here and look at all these cars piling up here now yeah it is pretty busy around here now i'm not well up on famous residents but there was certainly one famous resident of polton here and that was keith harris who remembers keith harris in orville 
Okay, now Polton is really, really swanky. The property prices are off the scale here. And what I thought I'd do is see if I can find some cheap houses. Are there any like council estates or ex-council estates? I think there are. Let's go and see if we can find some, shall we? We'll just have a quick look at this park first. This is Victoria Park. I think I came in here on the last video that I did. There are quite a few green spaces in Polton and you're not far from the town centre to get to this and if you compare it to Blackpool and you're in the town centre of Blackpool how far are you away from a proper green space? Quite a long way. Got loads of conkers down here, look at this. Got that willow over there. It's a nice tree isn't it? They even stripe the lawns around here. Look at that there. Look, they don't do that at Stanley Park in Blackpool, do they? Look at those bushes there, nicely trimmed there, look. Grisselinia. That one in there grow really well. And Oleria. That one's an Oleria. Forsythia. Catoniaster. Uh, just looking up station road there back towards where the train station was uh, it's not on that road but it's just around the corner and um, this is lower green we're at lower green now and i wanted to see if i could find some what you might call cheap houses maybe ex-council houses because polton is very very expensive as you can see very very sought after and I think that there are some council or ex-council houses in this area here. Let's see if we can find them, shall we? There's like a little uh, little estate here for, looks like it's for elderly people here. These little, look at these here. It's quite tidy, isn't it? Got a Chinese takeaway here on the corner of Wembley Avenue. Just next to that we've got a rather swanky uh, hairdresser's there, level 13. I bet it's not cheap in there, is it? Tanning shop over there. Well, we're sort of heading back towards the main road now, Glassdown Road down this way. Lower Green. And there used to be a news station, it's just here, up here on the corner. There used to be a news station there, it's been turned into uh, Probably rather swanky apartments, what do you think? There you go. Anyway, I'm going to go up this road here, First Avenue, because this road is... Well, it looks like an old council estate, what do you think? We've got a council estate here in Polton. Look at this. Wow. And typical of council estates, look how wide the road is. It's so, so narrow, this road. What were they on when they designed these council estates there? Eh? So I just wonder how much it would be for a house up here. It would certainly be at the cheaper end, I would have thought. If you want to buy a house in Polton, if you want to be in FY6, then somewhere up here might be where you'd find something. It's a cul-de-sac, you can't get out at the top. Let's have a look down here, shall we? It's like a back alley, this. Got like, uh, I think they're like retirement, little retirement places, are they? Like really small kind of flats, probably sheltered. So there you go. We found a council estate here in Polton. How about that, eh? Grass wants cutting. So that's where the little council estate was over there and I'm just now by where the news agents used to be here. It's rather swanky now, doesn't it? Uh, and uh, they've actually got terraced houses here as well. Look, there you go, terraced houses here in Polton. Is this the cheap end of Polton? I'll tell you what, the road looks a bit rough. Look at this. Wow. Okay, so I'm back in the park now, and that was a little look around Polton. If you want to know where the swankiest area of Polton is, I'd say we're looking at the Derby Road area, which I looked at in my last video. I'll put that video 
at the end of this one so you can check it out in that one but that was a little look around Poulton the town centre very very compact town centre lots of history I know lots of people slag Blackpool off I'm always doing videos in Blackpool I don't get out of Blackpool that often but what do you think to Poulton it's not far away is it it's a nice place to retire to if you can afford it um, they've got the history as well the history is amazing isn't it yeah we also took a look at some of the cheaper areas of Poulton the council estate just out here where I am now anyway I hope you like the video don't forget there's a link to the one at the end of this one if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one